Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the quickest and easiest, in my opinion, the quickest and easiest way to port forward any game or program that needs it. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that Java is installed on your computer. After that, you're just going to go to this URL here, which I will have an annotation or a link in the description for, and you're going to download Port Mapper. And you're just going to scroll down past this source code mumbo jumbo that you don't need to know about. Um, and you're just going to click the download button. It'll take you to the SourceForge page. And yeah, I'm not going to download it because I already have. And it'll give you this. It'll say port mapper dash whatever number it is by now dot jar. And uh, you're just going to run that. How this works is it runs off of something called UPNP. It means Universal Plug and Play, and it's something that pretty much all modern routers support now, and it comes enabled on pretty much all of them. It's basically where any software running on your local network can control certain aspects of the router, which, I mean, that can be kind of concerning I guess for security but I mean as long as it's on you might as well use it if you want it disabled you can google that or whatever but uh, yeah you're just gonna click connect and it'll say searching for routers and eventually well, well pretty quickly it should say connected to router then whatever your router name may be and it'll come up with a few port mappings already. Well, some, maybe a lot. Depends on what you're running. Uh, these are just ports that are already open on your router. These Torito ports are something that Microsoft uses. Something to do with Internet Explorer, I think. I don't really remember, but uh, it's not some malicious software. Now, after this all pops up and you know it works, you're just going to go over here, well, let me delete this. You're going to go over here and click Create under Port Mapping Presets. <clears throat> and uh, this is where you actually add the ports that you're going to use. So uh, you're going to click Add, and you have the option to open a TCP or UDP port. If you don't know what that means, just make two and make one of them UDP and one TCP. Now I'm going to act like I'm doing this for Minecraft, so uh, I'm going to open 25565, which is the default port for Minecraft. So it would be done just like that. And you can name it. Name it Minecraft YouTube. Yeah. YouTuber. Oh, well. I hit enter. Anyways, after you do that, you're going to click on it again here. And click edit. And uh, sometimes, the only reason we did that is sometimes where it, when you go on the last one, It'll actually change this number to uh, zero. I don't know why, but it does that occasionally. So just open it again and make sure it's not zero. <clears throat> and after that, you can just close it, hit cancel or save. And uh, if you want to use that, if you want to open those ports, you can just click on it here and click use. And you'll see 25565 is now open. And uh, this means it's open to this IP address. So if you were on this IP address, which is another computer, it would not be open. So I'm just going to remove those real quick. Show you something else real quickly. If you go into edit again. If you have multiple ports to open, or a port range, you can just keep adding them, and you can name, you can 
make them different uh, different numbers. I'm gonna remove those. And a port range, that's just you can open like two five five six four to two five five six six and you'll have three open. And uh yeah. That's pretty much it. Once you open your ports crap use. Once you have these open you can close the program and they will stay open. It's as if you did it on your uh, router software, whatever came with it, uh, and, and they'll stay that way until you reset your router. So, uh, I hope I helped someone. If I did, it would be nice if I got some likes, comment. If you, if you have questions, you can comment. I'll answer them, hopefully. Uh, yeah, subscribe. That's about it. I'll see you in the next video.